Up front, in your face, lively. There's a game going down there the other night. A very special game of poker. It's private, very private. No room for muppets. Now we've seen these faces winning world championships, test matches and gold medals. But can they cope with real pressure when there's notes in front of them? And cards in their hands. This will sort out of the men from the boys. Spontoolies on the table. This is the real deal. This is the PartyPoker.net Sports Stars Challenge, where the biggest names in sports sit down round the poker table with wads of cash. Over the next few weeks, our private games will be made up of sporting stars from the world of rugby, football, cricket, athletics, snooker and darts. But first up, sports presenters and reporters are after a piece of the pie. They'll play in a one-off poker game, winner takes all the cash on the table. Will these TV stars still be able to take the pressure in front of the camera when someone's calling their bluff for thousands of pounds? Let's see who's in tonight. We'll be after taking the boys' trousers down and running off with all their cash. In seat six, it's devious Dice Stewart. This geezer loves to talk the talk, but can he walk the walk? He's never lost the words in his Sky Sports Rugby League shows, and having picked up a World Cup, he'll be used to pressure. But this is poker. In seat five, it's Mike Steve-O Stevenson. They used to call him the Prince of Style in his darts days, but now he's swapped the bull's eyes for bullets and the Shanghai's for ace eyes. In seat four, it's Rodders. This ex-England cricket ledge is looking to push the poker boundaries. Can he do Only one word describes our next player. Unbelievable. And I'm not talking about his barnet. Don't be fooled by the cheeky grin. He took no prisoners on the pitch and it'll be no different on the table. In seat two, it's Chris Kami Kamara. He looks like butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. But this egg chaser is here for the cash. In one, it's Simon Lasers Lazenby. Bundles of money, you got to have a whole lot of nerve. One of this lot is taking home six large. The others are taking... Placid exteriors be betrayed by sweat, ticks and tells. Six names from the world of television that will all be crowned top dog in the world of TV presenter Celebrity Poker. All six players start with a thousand pounds in cash laid out in front of them. The blinds start at ten pounds and twenty pounds and there's a whole gamut of experience amongst this table. Alongside me, one of the more experienced, Steve Davis, six-time World Snooker Champion Poker aficionado. Thank you very much, yes, it's, uh, it's interesting to see uh, talent uh, from around the world of sport to, uh, that has turned to the world of commentary and presenting, then try and turn its hand to another type of on-camera activity. And uh, a newcomer to the world of poker. Raise. Raise. Lloyd, pounds total. Ace King. Just flat calling. Pass. I believe that Rod Harrington raised. Me too. Pass. And he has Ace King as well, yes. so it's a, Pass. a big hand, the first hand of the Pass. whole tournament. 30 pounds to call. And everybody and else call. wisely passing. Call. And Rod Harrington raised just a, a small amount, which has been called by Lloyd. Rod Harrington a little bit worried now about his Ace King, wondering what Lloyd's got. Rod's a bit more experienced. Played online a bit and he's hit Eight, his ace. Nine, five. Give him the green light to go ahead and bet. Check or bet. But it's Mr. Lloyd to act first. Well, he's hit his ace as well. On the side of two diamonds won't strike neither of them off either with uh, both David and Rod having three diamonds. Chance of a flush oh, still raise. there for them both. Raise. Rod doing the right thing, raising with 80 more, 100 total. top pair, top kicker. Call. Call. Uh, 
not to be pushed off the pot. A call. Are there any alarm bells ringing for Rod Harrington? Wouldn't like to see a diamond Three. now, would he? The players have had a bit of practice before the start of this, and Rod Harrington will know that uh, Lloyd's uh, a bit of a novice at the game, so he won't really know where he stands. Well, he's coming out betting again. About 50. What well, we know, and they don't 50. know, of course, that this is definitely going to be a split pot. So it'll be interesting to see what we can gather from the behaviour of both of these, the way they play it, who's the strong and who's the weak player. These two are probably the most experienced players around the table as well. So straight away, a very, very significant hand. Now, what does David 50. do here? Well, there's nothing really scary out there on the board, so I don't think there's any way that uh, Rod's going to turn this down. <coughs> but he's still a bit worried about what he what he may be up against, and they'll both be quite relieved, I think. <laughs> the rice smile of Rod oh, says it all. Oh, Split pot for that. hand one. All that panicking for that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the ranking of the hands. At the bottom of the ranking is the high card only. Higher than that is one pair, then two pairs. Then three of a kind, also known as a set. Next up, a straight. That's five cards in a row of any suit. Better than this is a flush. Five cards of the same suit in any order. A full house is three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind, of course, is self-explanatory. Looking for that straight flush through is five cards in a row, all of the same suit. And a royal flush is top of the pops. A straight flush. You think? I think. <laughs> Yet to play a hand. Well, um, nice. Cool. Not bad. Simon Nate's a bit very disciplined fold with a pair of sixes. Could have been worth a raise. Pass. 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 Chris doing the right Call. thing with Jack Call. 8 and... Call. You're already in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three suited. Yeah. We'll take that as a call. He's on the... He's no already way. on the button, so... He's already on the button, so... What's up with the man? He's already had his money in, so... The three of them there, That's in the giggle. picture. <laughs> and with... Much the better of it, Diana Stewart. Okay. And uh, King, two Jack, players have hit their flop. Ace. Which Check is... Interesting for Rod Harrington, who's going to come out and see where he stands. 50. This could be the end of Steve-O, unless he's having a brainstorm. Although a queen would be nice. Pass. Call. 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 Well, only a Setting call, Setting a trap. Well, it's a nice trap. Seven. Doesn't change anything. Will Rod Harrington put the brakes on now? Check. Check. 50. 50. <coughs> Call. And he's tied in now. Rod's talked himself into calling this. 10. Both now will be wary of a queen. Too sure it will scare off Diana. Big bet from Rod Harrington here. Could ask the question. 50. Not enough 50. of a bet. And we'll be called. Call. And clay hands, please. You got the ace there, haven't you? Uh, yeah. Well, Money read it, but... Yeah, well, <laughs> well Thank you. <laughs> Didn't get him any money. <clears throat> First hand that die is played. And it's a very Good significant effort. one for her as well. And also very polite to say thank you yeah, as well. Yeah, which no, 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 no good at all. Thank you. 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 The one to watch has got to be David Lloyd. He's a Lancastrian. I was born and bred in Yorkshire. I'm very proud of it. And all I can say is that he is mean and he's not so keen. I would see Steve up, and I've known him on and off for years as a real bluffer. And if there's a lady in and a pretty lady, which I think is Di Stewart, just watch out for her. 
I've just spoken to Cammy and he said he's never played before, but I think he's secretly telling a white lie. I think he could be one to watch. I won't be watching Steve all um, because he's not a pretty sight. But uh, having said that, he's a cagey player and he's always been thrifty with his money as well. Kamara, you've got to keep your eye out for him. Kamara, a lot of hot air there. A lot of hot air. Oh, sorry. It's always a good uh, little handle, isn't it? Oh, a pair of them. Chip leader, David Lloyd, looks down at two pretty looking cards. He's first to act. 20. Call. Call. Worth Call. trying to get in Call. cheaply again there. Rod Harrington. Pass. Not even a Pass. decision with the Pass. Queen 4 suited. It's tentacle. Call. And Any raise. And a bad ace for Simon Lazenby. Yeah. And Chris Kamara with the, the best hand at the moment. Who doesn't raise with a pair of fives? Could possibly have put in a raise to see where he stood. It's a bit chilly, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get in the old shivers. Eight, five, 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 it's also an ace out two, there. Could be some fireworks here. Yeah. And that is a perfect <laughs> flop as far as Chris Kamara is concerned because Simon's hit his ace. He thinks a pair of aces is looking good. Cammy with his 50. trips. It's full. Really. Sorry, yeah, you fancy this now. <laughs> what he's got to do Up is work out how to play it. Yeah, and not take too much Look time and uh, appear like you've got a monster. There's only six <laughs> balls and over there. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just flat call? I think perhaps calling. Obviously, he's been telegraphed that David Lloyd's going to fold, but there's one other player left in the pot. Perhaps it's time to just call. Call. Fold. There are two clubs Pass. out there, and a possible Pass. straight, although it's an outside Tell you what, many one, you never scored many goals. Knowing <laughs> <laughs> that uh, Lazenby has a three, a four would be a cruel blow. Two, I'll tell you. <laughs> you don't look it. Ace. Oh, that's a cruel blow as well. Well, well. Mm. Simon Lazenby is going to do very well to get away from this now. Kamara with the full house. Check. Lazenby's checked. Well, that's smelling danger. It can. It would be conservative. I mean, he now doesn't know where he stands in yeah. any way, shape, or form. So, any type of bet, he's, he's going to be obligated to call. Or is he going to raise? Oh, I think he'll fancy this. Well, it's a bit of a hundred. It really isn't. You could go in a bit stronger, but is Lazenby checking to raise? Is, can he get away from that? No, I always say, Steve, that was a check raise to lure him in. Well, now he, he's, he's putting an act on, if it is an act, to now put the raise in to commit suicide. Mm. Or can he some? Cool. Well, marvellous if he gets away from it. Chris Kamara has another look at his cards. The, the pros do that at a top class level. Three. Well, can you Check believe it? Is it aces and threes? Basically, he goes from being sick as a parrot. Delighted. A little shake of the hands there. He's here, monster. Well, it's got to be carnage. But it should be somebody walks out the door. And it should be Chris Kamara now. Perhaps Chris Kamara's inexperience will stop him from going any further afield with uh, putting any more money in. Except all that. 200. I think Chris is going to wade in and try and fill his boots here. He'll see that he's got a full house, and I think this is going to be devastating for him. <laughs> it's very hard to know how you read things. I mean, at top class <laughs> level, there would have been a lot more action okay, before this point. Are now to call the 200. He's raise the 200. Options. And if you raise the 200, the minimum will be four. card that was. OK, or you can fold your hand. I told the options. He's got 800 around. Roughly 800 left from the starting stack of 1,000. Is it just calling? It's on a moment. Okay. You're raising? Yeah. Raised. Well, understandably raised. <laughs> a raise of 200 for total. Well, the only hand out there that uh, Simon Laser okay, can be beaten by is ace five. five. If you haven't got enough to go all in, or fold your hand. 
Got to be a re raise. Cool. All in. Showdown. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Full house. Ace is in three. Oh, cool. Ace is. Cruel blow there. A very, very Your cruel blow for Chris. Simon got lucky. Trees, which are going to take it, OK? Sorry, Cammy. It's all right. Caught the last card to beat you. Yeah. Cammy knows mm. that is a bitter blow and is really going to make life very difficult. He's got to start chasing now down to 240 got pounds. Oh, no. oh, oh, got to see it. hell. Go down. <laughs> what time's that train? <laughs> uh, an amazing turn of events there. Locked in after the first hand. Uh, Simon Lazerby with the ace. Kamara with the three fives. Then the ace comes, makes matters worse for Lazenby. He's up against the full house and then the three at the end. What a cruel blow. What a cruel game poker can be. Right, so. If you get that. And then Simon, <laughs> the chip leader after a big, a big hand with that full house. <laughs> So you just basically the state of play. Simon, right. 1,310 pounds, as you can see, is the chip leader. I've been playing poker for about four or five years, but um, I'm no great shakes. I'm very erratic at everything I do, so I think my uh, erraticness might be my downfall in the end. Simon Lazenby is the man with the wads of cash at the moment. He tackled Chris Kamara with a bad beat, leaving him with just a few notes. They were all in fear of being first out, but can Cammy come back from this? He started off with a grand, now down to £220. Chris Kamara wouldn't even clean out the cushions from his sofa for £220 at home, but he's got a lot of work to do now if he wants to win the top prize of £6,000. Pass. And the only way he's going to get back in is by doubling up. And this, this, these are the type of cards to stick them all in with now. And he's got position as well. He's just cool. caught him. Cool. Okay. Oh, limps in again. Pass. He hasn't got much Pass. left in front Pass. of him, so he might as well go all in straight watch. afterwards. Cool. It might work to his advantage, just call him. He's got two other customers. And by far the best hand. And the two queens mm. out. Somewhat negated each other. And I believe... Six. One of them has hit a low pair. Stevo has hit second pair, which is decent. What's my options? You can check What's my options? Okay. As if he didn't know. I'll go. 20? 40. Minimum 40. 40. 40. Must be the. Okay. <laughs> 40. It's hard to get rid of, isn't it? You know what I mean? 40 pounds bet, 40 pounds caught. And Dinah Stewart calling with very little other than two over cards, but that's not desperate. It's not the biggest bet in the world. And now, Kamara. Pass. Pass. This is Ace Jack. He was behind, but he's running far Check. out of money. A queen would be nasty for Diana Stewart here. Check. They both check. Seven. Mm. A certain amount of fear in that card. Just has a look to see if they've changed colours or suits. No, they're the same. Small bet is the order of the day. It has been so far. 40. 40 a minimum size oh, bet of 40. And Diana decides to give it up. Perhaps realising she shouldn't have bet in the first place. I thought I had another card. <laughs> what to call her? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I, I remembered the wrong card. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's horrendous. <laughs> oh, you thought... Yeah, that was a so, complete yeah. blonde moment, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> just burn a couple of <laughs> notes there. Possibly a few theatrics may be thrown in, as in, ooh, I'm such a novice, I'm so blonde, I don't know what I'm doing, and secretly, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Pass. Well, two attractive looking cards for Kamara. He hasn't got much left. Is it time to stick it in? No. Pass. Oh. Pass. He's Pass. not got position at the moment. I'm surprised that he didn't go <laughs> all in on the last hand when... Call. He did Call. have Call. position. Have option of bracing or checking. You're checking. Oh, suited Check. connectors for die. They're quite nice. 
the two players in there. And she's got a seven. Seven, queen, nine. Bottom pair. And uh, all of a sudden, Steve-O started to have a little bit of a bluff in him. String betting, but we're forgetting that. 40. 40. Another 40. Oh, and now there's a little bit of a decision to be made. Where's that? I think Steve-O's quite happy having died um, to his left, because I think he, I think he reckons realizes. she's quite a weak player. Well, I think he's just decided that He's quite, he quite likes the idea of sticking a bit of money in there to see where he stands. Oh, pass. And if he gets the flavour of this, <coughs> he, he can start <coughs> bluffing <coughs> players when he hasn't necessarily yeah. got anything. Uh, yeah. The learning Sorry. curve starts uh, for Steve, who is uh, a complete novice at the Four game and has admitted as much as his first <laughs> tournament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Queen at, seven nine. At King I. Oh my goodness! Did mm. you? And he's just told her that she's never believed My six and seven were really something, <laughs> weren't they? I was trying to get a pair. I had a pair, I had a pair of sevens. Mm. First well, hand you, you ever it? win yes. with a 24 oh, carat blood gives you the most immense feeling feel of satisfaction. Bad. That is what is pulsing through Steve-O's veins at the moment. There's so much, so he had to tell her. He just had to tell her. Right, I'm just getting to grips with it now. 20. This is where having a career in broadcasting isn't a good thing. You can't help but broadcasting everything to everyone around the table again cammy has a playable hand but when we see it for that this time he's got caught. surely with only 140 pounds left um, so call 40. Well, he's, called. he's just called Pass. again Pass. the only benefit Pass. of calling is he's guaranteed to probably get more customers than if he went all in call. he's got a call from low connectors and also call. higher and your option connectors and um, more connectors oh, well, and all of a sudden check. the check. ace queen is not no looking rest. anywhere near as good as it should be. The raise would have cleared out the field, and now would be lucky if he's still in front Three, after four, the flop, ace. which he is. But there's somebody with four diamonds out there, and also nice there's a, a possibility Check. with Stevo with Check. The Check. up and down straight. So, Check. 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 And check. Four checked. Oh, and he's checked as well. He's giving everybody a free card. Nightmare scenario. Free card Jack. being the Jack of Spades. And that increases Dice chances because Jack. she Jack. could Jack. now Jack. land a Jack. king. Jack. So many Jack. cards out there. Her oh. Kamara is <laughs> still in front Jack. as we Jack. speak. Jack. Jack. He's really got to put some money. He's just got to put some money. Whether he can scare anybody off is another matter. He's checked it again. Six. Well, well he's actually got away with it. Oh. Check. It's going to be checked down for a win. Whoa. Now all of a sudden. Simon Laser comes from bet. nowhere. Has he misread the, the board? It's a bluff of a hundred. Kamara's got so little left. Can he talk himself into folding? It wouldn't be the best thing in the world. He's got a he's <laughs> <the beast> watch. <laughs> <laughs> what time's the bus go? Well the watch the watch move means he's gonna stick it in for me. Not doing King's Cross till three o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> you don't look at your watch if you're gonna fold. Surely you don't. Come on now, White Wallop it. With a pair of aces, he's got to think that he's in very good shape at the very least. He's got the queen as well. If there's a well, he should have put the bet in, obviously, at the flop. We know that, but uh, he's got to think he's still got half a chance. Although he's obviously another three hands out, there, but he's got, to <coughs> he's got to take a chance on that. Is in front. It's got down to that desperation stakes anyway. He had success as a manager, but he's playing his poker, the equivalent of putting six behind the ball all the time. All in. At last, all in. All a in. move forward, which leaves no option or no room for anybody else, and that's the end of the pot. Unless somebody's he's all in, I'm all out. Pass, I'm passing. And pass. There we go, show there. Okay, show them out, please. Back, Cool. Cool. Oh, right. It's all finished. All yours, Cammy. Okay. Well, other than that, it looks like right, uh, Chris has won mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. A pair of aces. Yeah. 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 A pair of aces yeah. enough for Cammy, and he's got some of the money there. back yeah. that he lost to Simon Hanging on that full there. house Extra a few time. hands ago. Okay. Still in no great on. shakes, but at least he's doubled up. Check, check, check. That did have good cards. You don't believe me, do you? 
<laughs> no, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> I didn't I think the person who's been most likely throw. around the table in one respect Healthy. is the person who's been hurt the most so far, uh, Chris Kamara. You know, that unbelievable bad beat early on. And would love to get back in it. And, uh, cool. Cool. Perhaps uh, you never know, somebody might start to take the game up a bit more often and start to learn about the game and start to take it as a hobby. Cool. cool. And uh, you never know, Chris might start playing a bit more. Apparently Rod Harrington's playing every day online. He's started to get the flavour of it, as many people around the country and around the world have. Had a good awesome. week last week as well, Rod. He was he was saying it's uh, decent, uh, a decent week for him. And that's a great hand for Simon. Raises 100, 114 total. And uh, a proper size raise there. Two and a half times the big blind. Which now Four. starts to ask the question Pass. of a hand that would have been a calling hand for David Lloyd early on. Steve-O with the Queen-7, instead of the computer hand, the, most, the average oh, hand that he dealt. Queen and the 7, about as good as it gets. And he's called, and he really is seeking something from the flop with the Queen and the 7 to a raise, Nine, uh, ten. a realistic size raise, and perhaps one of the a few times we've had a raise pre-flop. Check. But he checks. Not so clever. Well, Should have bet. Or does he think that does he think that Steve-O is playing Check. quite loose poker Check. now and Check. trying to suck him in? Possibly. Didn't work anyway. Hasn't changed the equation too much. Three. And that's uh, a very helpful card for Simon Lazenby because there's no, no danger out there really unless he's up against trips. And you'll only know that by betting. Let's see where he stands. <coughs> It's probably the end of the pot. I think Steve-O's smile told him exactly where he stands. No, 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 put it down. Get rid of it. <laughs> no, I think this is a moody. This is the big moody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we going Brilliant. again? Uh, how's your heart now? It's the last hand at this level. The new blinds will be 30 and 60 Sorry. pound. We're going to change our dealer. So we're up to the third level now. £30 the small blind, £60 for the big blind. And that puts the pressure on Chris. He's big blind. Uh, he's, he's unlucky to a certain extent that being short stacked, he's the first to have to put to 60 call. in for the big blind. Uh, fold. He's got to start Pass. finding hands that he can play. He's got less than call. four times the big blind now in his stack. Mike call. Stevenson with call. the... Ace. Call. Cool. Cool. To some degree dominated Pass. by a slightly Check. bigger ace. No race. And no race from Chris Kamara, who has well, two live cards, so to speak. Four, five, five. Check or bet. They got a free flop for his big blind, but nothing else really. I mean, he's not hit anything. The only saving grace is that it's not a great flop for anybody. He's just looked down at his money there. Just for a second, he's having a think up longer than he did last time, but when he checked, is he thinking about moving all in? Is he thinking about some type of bet? He's just about to go for his money then. Here we go. He's grouping it all together. No, he's not. He's having a, is he gonna check? I haven't got a clue. Check. Ah, yes, it's a check. Check. Yeah, check. Check. Will Steve-O be bluffing it? Check. No. Check. You could hit a two. It would be lovely for Steve-O. Wouldn't we love to see a two? Another free card for everybody. What's three. it going to be? It's a three. Wow. Uh, Dai's got up and down outs here on her. Straight with a six. <laughs> it's either a seven or a two. Steve-O's hit the three. <laughs> Chris Kamal just is dying to have a bet now. He's just itching to get involved. He's so itching to get involved. There's danger here for, for anyone, really, because Rod's okay. got four spades. About 100. <coughs> and it's 100. on the strength of having those four spades that Rod's going to go 100. Now, Cammy has got to put, with 160 100. that he's cool. got left in his stack, he's got to put more than half of that in, obviously, cool. if he wants to keep going. Well, th neither of those two players flinched. Steve-O never Pass. flinched there with a the bottom pair that he's got. And uh, well, Diana's got an up and down straight, as we said. The spade wouldn't help her. Jack. And that doesn't help anybody. And so, all of a sudden, Steve-O is in front. Check. Check. Rod Harrington.
puts the brakes on. Steve though smells that he's in front. 100. 100. Didn't have to bet. Could have checked it down, avoided any possible re raise. And hopefully, Diana hasn't misread her hand. 100. And she's Four. calling with an ace. Pass. Hands, which please. could be enough, but isn't. Showed down two threes and two fives. A fair amount of money yeah. to throw away. Um, puts Diana on the, the borderline of poverty yeah. in the game. Thank you. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. She's down to 600 now. It's not right. looking at all right. that money to the right of you. It's not yours. Nice one. That's your lot. You've got 610. Of course, can mate. Are we allowed to do that? I assume we are. Well, Rob at one we, stage had nearly a 500 50? quid lead, yeah. but that's been whittled away now. <coughs> so it's uh, Steve only £20 behind him. Simon with good, healthy £1,200 stack, and David Lloyd's that's also in profit. Keeping out of trouble as well, David Lloyd. One to yeah. Yeah. A little bit of wily experience from the old days of playing poker. Yeah, you see the forward defensive <coughs> coming out, can't oh you? Yes. Every, every time a hand good. gets dealt, oh, cool. a bit of cool. tide to turn. Rod Harrington calling a, what is a big hand, six-handed. Cool. Perhaps cool. it was a, kind of a better option to raise. Now, it? <laughs> 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 so like, ooh, it's padded. Steve-O's calling oh, yes. anything now. Yes. Well, he's he's getting, <laughs> to some degree, uh, Confirmation that's the right thing to do. Ready to call. And as long as the bets are not big, there's no reason why you shouldn't call with some more Jay. No different race. hands from the ones we see often people trying away. So, four handed, the ice queen now nowhere near as good, and Rod Harrington probably should have raised pre flop. <coughs> and this is a big hand for Chris. And Free king. Wow, look at that. He's eight. hit king Double eight. 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 Had king eight in his hand, and all of a sudden, out of nothing, when he's put 60 in out of his stack of 160, so he's put himself down to 100 quid and he's hit two pairs. And he's going to get a customer. All the in. trouble is, Steve-O's hit a flush. OK, I'll start to Oh, sorry. Option, okay. and he's sorry, be, David. This is going to be a big Should part you? because David Lloyd's yeah. you call that, yeah. tied in with, king, cool. with the king. Pass. Steve-O now, what does he do? Just call? Does he raise? He reaches for the 50s. Because Kamara's very call unlucky, that. really, to That's hit standard. two pair and not win this hand. Of course, there's a possibility of an eight or a king still total. to come. Okay, He's all get to see two cards. The question is, can David Lloyd get away from the bed? Okay, it's 100 more yeah. if you wish to stay in the hand. Yeah. Not the call. And it's a tied call. in as well. Okay, 300 in the main pot. This could be a big pot. And we have a side pot of two and still betting, gentlemen, okay? If David Lloyd has called that bet, he's going to be calling another one if a a non-scare card comes on the turn. Ace. And it's oh. a massive scare card. And that will put Check the brakes on David Lloyd. He doesn't like it. I think you can tell from his face he doesn't like it. Check. Don't throw them away. You know the rules by now. What he'd give to have the Queen of Clubs in his hand here. It's up to you, sir. No, not flush for David, Check. though he's got... Of course, a big worry for Steve-O is that he's now been outdrawn on the turn, but he's now really got to represent that he's got something good. 300. Thank you. Quite a sensible size bet. He leaves himself room for sailing out if there was an all-in from David Lloyd. That's it. And I think a pretty you honest player, David Lloyd. He won't try any tricky Raise moves here. Or fold your hand. I'll fold. Pass. And so, Chris Kamara, after the cruel river card that happened earlier, club. get his own back up on the cards. I'm a million. Oh, he needs an eight. Need an eight. Chris needs oh, an eight, eight or a king for a full house. Beat the flush. Otherwise, we lose our first player. All on this, Chris. Oh, to cash oh, your love. Oh, 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 well, he had oh, that oh, extraordinary oh, bad thing oh, early oh, on. Back back the game. So it goes and what goes back around back again, comes oh, around. Oh, Chris so Kamara goes, right. stays alive with very few he's outs, really, but he's landed the king when he needed it. Great, sir. Good job, isn't it? Oh, what a lucky oh, boy. Oh, 
Oh, nice to that hold the back up again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you finish with? What an amazing Full out the last king. Poetic justice, but nice obviously not on. Thank you. Steve, though. Oh, Only because I got that back. Nearly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 well, it wasn't disastrous for Steve, though, because, of course, he won that side yeah, pot with won. David Loy, but it was uh, completely What's turned that? things around for oh, <laughs> Chris Kamara. I'm so eager to get them. <laughs> and he's back in touch now. He's been back in the show. Yeah. Is off Chris now compared to oh, it was a call. few hands ago. He's getting involved with the 5 4 of diamonds. Call. David call. with ace queen, Pass. Steve -o with queen call. jack. <coughs> Once again, the ace queen, which is a sizable hand, no. doesn't raise and lets in cheaply two other hands that have potential. Jack, potential, Jack. and it's been realised. The ace queen is worthless now. Steve-O, really, with a flop like that, other than the fact there's two spades on it, could be forgiven for checking and trying to trap somebody into a bet. But on the other hand, minimum sixty. In a little small sixty. Bet. Yes, minimum then. sixty. You have to guess. 100. Okay. Let the hundred go. Let the hundred. Go. Okay, the <laughs> Sorry, hundred. That may be a bit too expensive for everybody. He may have lost any potential customers at all by the ease at which he said make it a hundred. He certainly lost Chris Kamara. No way Chris can get involved. Possibly David Lloyd could talk himself into continuing. Although after taking a, a beat the last hand, I'm not too sure he will. Is this acting here, Jim? A bit of acting Pass. here? A bit of presenter acting? No, he's got rid of it eventually. It's 100 to call. Well, he's, he's call. just getting a bit call. looser, isn't he? The canniness has gone out of his game all of a sudden. Although he's got two over cards, he just doesn't believe that the other guy's got a Eight. jack. So now he's got a customer on the hook. He may as well continue firing. Nothing's changed there with the board. Not too much. 200. 200. Half the pot. He's really got to continue. Fold. Oh, then why did you put the money in the first place is the question they would ask at top class level. But Steve he lives move. to fight another day, although he's getting precariously low. Steve is becoming more attractive. <laughs> 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 That's not possible. That was so, that, that was so cruel from Diana there. Excuse me, but you so are too. <laughs> you cost me too much you cost me too much money. <laughs> Actually I might just move my I'm move liking my the notes near me. Okay, we have 30 and 60. I have never played poker in my entire life. I played Snap as a kid, and I think when I was 14, my mum and dad allowed me to play Happy Families. And this poker face, the one that I will be using today, will bluff them all. Would you buy a car from this man? No. Pass. It was called earlier by some of the players. Simon Lazenby getting a bit Pass. tight. Chris Kamara waits for better than 6 3. Oh. David Lloyd has Call. become the loosest player around the Call. table. Call. Has he gone on tilt? That's the big question. Call. Yep. Just doing that thing. <laughs> Tapping the safe. <laughs> nice one. Over the throat, Diana. Call. Don't call. And raise. raise. Um, yeah. Amazing though. Six, six diamonds 60, out. 60, of course. Six okay. diamonds Raise out. Very 60, little chance of flush. A couple of diamonds in the flop would make for so some fantastic bidding. <laughs> Three diamonds would be bizarre. It really would. Fold. Pass. Yeah. Cool. So it's been called. Cool. Not a Go. bad looking Go. set of cards for Diana Stewart out there at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Yorkshire, I keep telling you that, don't yeah. I? To some degree, the <laughs> jacks negate themselves by being two out there. One of the queens would <coughs> hurt Rod Harrington if it came on the board. Mm. Diana's got the flush covered. There's only a nine out there that hurts her. A 
and there's Seven, the Queen. queen. Rod Harrington now finds Six. himself in trouble. Check He's got bet. Queen Jack, and that's the problem with Queen Jack. It's not that good. You've got to hit better than that on the flop. It's almost the worst hand you can get, isn't it, Queen Jack? Because it, it looks so much better than it actually is. Check. Check. Oh, sorry. <laughs> get into the habit. Check. Forget about it. Forget uh, about check. it. Check. And Diana checks top pair with an ace kick up. Well, she's, whether she knows what she's doing or not, it doesn't really matter. Sucked in Rod Pass. Harrington to stick in 200 straight in the mucker. Uh, 200 then. And it's going to be flat called. Call. Under other circumstances, you'd be looking at a raise, but really, apart from the jack, Rod Harrington's in all sorts of trouble. And Eight. The, that three Check hearts come on the board, I don't think it's really going to be scaring. She bets. That may scare Rod off. Just a small bet. 100. 100 into an 800 pot, which really Rod has to call. I'll call you, die. Call. With, a, with a little bit of a swagger. It is only a call. He obviously thinks he's still in good shape. Well, it's only costing him 100, but I say only. The players haven't jack. started. Well, he's hit a jack. Can you jack believe that? He's hit. He's hit it on the on I'm the river. It. A cruel blow for Diana. Rod obviously has to be wary of the flush. Okay, minimum 60 more. <laughs> may stop him getting That's too 60. busy. I'll call you, but I think you've got the run. Call. I'll call. Run or the flush. Oh, on the back, please. Well, let's have a look at oh, He's going to be pleasantly yeah. surprised, Rod. And he's misread what Diana had. Queens and Jacks. OK, let's try, try him over. Ooh, OK, two pair of wins. Rod knows yeah. just how lucky That's he is. Oh, and then Jack coming no, down, right. saving him a really bold, fair bit of bother, and Dai is now in thinking. real trouble. <laughs> sure, with only 130 quid. <laughs> well, it's only the river card that. that no, it's all right. Well, I, I, I was just going to. Uh, and Rod, he's to oh, yeah. first to double his stack, yeah, and then he's again. got his 500 quid lead back. I'd like to beat them all and win. I've been a winner all my life, and and poker is no exception. You don't put it when you don't have to, and you don't put it when you should. <laughs> 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 I'm glad you did, Dane, Mike. <laughs> Sorry about that, Dane. Oh, right. Dino in the position that Chris was a few hands ago. Very short stacked and in need of inspiration and in need of cards that she can play very, very quickly in order to double up a couple of times just to get herself back cool. into the game. Cool. Pass. Chris Kamara calls with Fold. the Pass. ace. You can't get much worse than 2 9, but it isn't stopping Steve O. He will Third play anything, won't he? Yeah, and, uh, and the way oh. things have gone, it hasn't Very been much left. that bad <laughs> philosophy. As long as you don't have um. the full <laughs> range, <of the> <laughs> you just never know what comes up. <laughs> Hi. The lines go up, it's first start to. Oh, oh, yes, I'm going to go with. Yes. Call. I'll check. No race. Not much room for manoeuvre for Dai. Simon Laser will be potential for the 710 suited to improve. And there's not a lot out there that looks much better. <coughs> there's seven. the seven. Queen. But the jack, jack. has come down for Dai just Double when bet. she needed it. Myself? Oh, well, you might as well oh, stuff it all I'll in. Check. check. Stick it all in now. But Probably not enough to get anybody off the pot, so she's going to have to run the gauntlet of five cards. 60. 60. Semi bluff from Simon Lazenby to some degree. Doesn't really know what's out there, but with three other hands out there, you would That's think that 60. possibly somebody had hit a queen or a Pass. jack. There you go. Yeah. Stevenson oh, goes. Okay. Yeah. Dai's well, only got 70 I've quid left. Invested 60 in this round, haven't I? And there's a bit of maths coming out, and I think it's talk yourself into sticking it all and in. And so you just put 60 in, haven't you? I have. Yeah. yeah. That's just great. <laughs> <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I really oh. oh, dear. Do it, Dai. You've got to do it. it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's not kind so of much got how much <laughs> you've invested as to much, how much is in the pot. Praying stage. You've got in front of you at the I'm going to put 60 in. Yeah, you might. Um, yeah. No, but then you have to raise, don't you? No, that's up to you. If you want to call with 60, that's fine. That will leave you the 10, or you can go all in for the 70. I'm going to I'm going to just go all in. Okay. And, yeah. All in for 70. No point in leaving so that extra tenner to get home on the tube, is there? No, but it's a, it's a uh, ten pound fine as well if you forget to buy a ticket. So. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Well, you got a... Okay. Oh. Um, Simon's yeah. got her sevens. Oh, sorry. Yeah. She's handily placed. Okay. Looks Fair like Diane's just. winning. That's a pot size Fair of three hundred and eighty, which would be welcome relief for Diane. Just hyperventilating underneath the desk. So hey, it's no help to Simon. Chris Kamara rooting, throwing away the ace now, but not a flinch on his face. Look away. Ooh. Okay, Diane doubles up. Well done, Diane. And like Chris before, uh, just when she needed a uh, little bit of luck. She's back. 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 She's Interesting to see the number of hands that everybody has played. Out of those 24, Steve-O has played 18 of the 24. Simon, on the other hand, has played just eight. Six grand is walking out in someone's sky rocket tonight. Normally so comfortable in front of the camera, but when there's real wads of notes in their hand, is the pressure going to get too much? There's no certainties in poker. You would have had all your money on Chris Kamara making the first exit, but he's back in it. And Di Stewart, down to £70 at one stage, isn't giving up her 50s without a fight. She's showing the boys how it's done. Let's get back to the game. Thank you. <laughs> 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 and it's 60 to call. I fold. Pass. These look like playable cards from any position for Steve-O, who's falling into a bit of a mess at the moment. Yeah, You've got them in the wrong pile. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And now he's not so worried. <laughs> <laughs> Diane is slightly cool. less endowed with a queen Pass. nine compared to Steve-O's queen ten. 30 to call. Spell trouble there. Cool. Oh, cool. Cammy. And any raise. Jack two off suit. No. Jack two no off suit, not the best. Enough, not the best. And David Lloyd with a respectable five six, who hasn't to invest any more money as the big blind. So four way action once again, and this looks interesting. Ten, king, something Jack. for everybody. Absolutely, Check Bumble. All of a sudden, there's got flush draw. Everybody's got Check. something. Check. Cammy's pair of jacks. Well, Dinah's got a straight. <laughs> it's just Six, sixty. And David Lloyd comes out betting on a flush draw. 16. You're not going to get rid of Steve-O. And now all of a sudden, she has another look. That looks quite nice. How much money have I got? Um, I'll call and, and nice. raise. Yeah, I think How so much money yep. do I want to so win? This could be carnage, this hand. Let's make it big to get rid of the flush draw. Make it big to get rid of the flush draw. 100 more, 160 not total. Not enough, really. Not enough to get rid of. David Lloyd on the maths of it anyway. Can get a change if you wish to call. And Chris Kamara is talking himself into a bet as well. This would be the worst scenario. In some ways he's in the worst position. Even hitting second pair. Amazing four lots of cards out really. I do feel that somebody could very easily be walking out the door here and it could very well be David Lloyd. Of course, there's the possibility of a hitting a club. Two cards to come if he's all in. Pass. About two to one. To call. 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 Hundred to call. Hundred to call. Well, this is adding money to the size of the pot, which is all good news for call. either David Lloyd or Diana Stewart. Now you can see by the percentages, Steve O's in bad shape here. But if well, obviously an ace or a, a nine comes. Well, it's not six. the club that David Lloyd wanted. It is a six. Check. That doesn't help him. Check. Been over him. If, if Steve O. Stark comes out betting here, this is Check. reckless. Check. 
I checked. Well stop and all checked. checked. Oh, that wasn't good. I had to really stiff it all in there. Ten. Well, check looks or like bet. she's going to get a customer. I'll bet a hundred. One hundred. That's a nightmare for David Lloyd, who's really... One hundred to call. The worst bet probably he's made of the day. Without being too critical at this level. I'll go one hundred. And more. Oh, and this is going to be superb in. for Diana. It was really a, okay, a, a fairy tale total. scenario has happened. <laughs> Steve, I was looking at his trips. Three tens. Very King on the table, queen in his hand. He's Money, really. Thanks, um, he's happy. So I have to put 200 in. If you wish to call, put 200 Obviously, in. If you yeah, haven't got the 200, that, that means you go all in and create but a cycle. Is so low I go all in the money. options. You You're going to go all in. in. Yeah. Just all hope in. that nobody has that. This will I hope I've got the induce more right. money from Steve. What was that? If you wish to call, I've got the cards right. Do another hundred. Oh, well, that should get rid of Bold. David Lloyd. <coughs> Will it get rid of... Okay, you get 40 bucks. I hope I get rid of... I've got the card. I've never been said at this level. Don't have your card. Well, don't worry, guy. He's a king straight. Well, we've got... Well, here we go. Three, three tens nine. here. And we've got a straight here. Yeah. Christmas well for those, well Stuart well and Steve-O yeah. has yeah. taken a battery. OK. Diane. Oh. Dai, who is down to, what, 70 quid a few minutes ago. And now... Back in profit. We can compare piles now, can't we? Can. Can. Oh, <laughs> <ambitious. laughs> this is This bigger than yours. See if getting ugly again. What an amazing hand that was. See the King 10 jack on there, obviously. A little bit of something for everyone. Um, Steve O locked in, really, hoping for an ace or a nine, but also with that low pair. Could have got away from it in the end when the 10 came on the end. And even though Dinah let people in for the flush draw. She got paid off. Uh, Jack three, get rid of them. Although, unfortunately for David Lloyd, he hasn't got much left. Are the blinds coming around to him? From? Well, Bold. the blinds coming around to him next go Bold. as well, so he's going to make a move soon. He needs, uh, not with a jack three, if he's going to have a good hand, cool. he needs it to be the next hand, really. He'd, he'd rather get the cards from the next deal rather than this one or the previous one. He has had two shocking hands, the last two. Deserves a bit of luck, Bumble. Now, what's Dai going to do? With pass, what's the folding pass. With the queen king six? No, right, and there's not a lot out there. Chris Kamara is in the best spot, he's down to 300 though. He's back down a bit. And well, time for Chris Kamara to try and hit something. Four, well, he's five, hit a queen, queen, and his betting opponent has hit the bottom pair 100 bet. Could be enough to scare him off, although he's got enough money, but it's a flat call, I feel. 100, but... 100 called. Yep. He'll be paying off Chris Kamara Give all the way down chance. to the line, unless an eight hits. Nice. Might slow things up a fraction, but... When the gun check. gets check. tough, the tough check. Now... He's fearless, isn't he, Steve? He's absolutely fearless. I mean, and, and it can work. Can he get him to lay down what was top pair? So this is where Chris Kamara's got to work out. What did he have that he called with? Has that ace helped him? Why did he just call me after the flop? Not easy, this. Oh, okay. Got an all-in and a call. Taking a chance that it hasn't helped him. There's a pair of queens. Chris is second all-in. A pair of fours. And he's in the good shape as well. And he's got about a go. nine in ten chance okay. of pulling this off. He'll be delighted with what he sees there. Just doesn't want to see a four or an eight. It's a nine. That'll do. Queens double up. Kill the four eight. Chris Kamara goes up to 600 pounds and never been in bad shape early on. We're just going to say we're going to have this together. He's done well to stack back up a bit. Mine's a bit late now, Mine's fine. He's still going to get his fingers burnt for 
just been a little bit too loose. And still, he's playing three quarters of all the hands. The great thing about the way Steve's playing is that Steve is playing is if he can hit a good hand and keep on betting with the same style, he could get paid off. Three, so Rod Harrington, on, without on, being on, really on, ever on. under pressure, Eight. extended his lead at the top. And, uh, the players trolling down the bottom. Well, David Lloyd's really got some work to do. It's, he's the big blind now. He's having a count up. He's getting ready, and in it goes. No. He's having a count up. And he didn't take long. <laughs> <laughs> it's 140 it's pounds. The big blind's 100. I think he's, uh, You're he's, kidding. He's actually <laughs> telegraphed the fact that doesn't matter what hand he's got, he's going to be putting the rest in. It's 100 for everybody. Yeah, pounds. Deserves a good one this time round. He's not got it. And 50 cent has disappeared. Jack seven yeah, off suit, not what he wanted to see. Yeah, and this could well Pass. be the end of David. Pass. Unless everybody passes. 100 players. Okay, that's it. 100 Calls. Okay, we've got an 80. 240 in the centre. So there's three players in the pot. Okay. And the and good thing for David side. Lloyd is he has two cards that are not matched That's by the, the other plot. players' whole cards. That's a side part. Well, there's any jack. Jack, six, queen. But rather ominously, Chris has now got up and down outs on the straight uh, because he's check. got the nine, ten. Check. The jack and the queen have come down, so a king check. or an check. eight sorts check. Chris out. We'll David, with his pair of jacks, could be in worse shape. Six. Six doesn't help anything, although it does give Chris Kamara a flush draw. But it's not really the right thing to come out betting here, although this is a bit more tactical. You just basically oh, check and uh, okay, keep everybody in the game not. with the view to not be out the weak man, who is David Lloyd. <laughs> he's money. still in front. <laughs> so Chris has taken the side oh. pot. David oh. knows he's in good shape. David shows really doesn't want to see an eight or a king. And Chris has got a straight draw. Eight or a king's the end of David yeah. Lloyd. Needs an eight. Yeah. Any eight any club. Right. Ten of clubs is a flush. Flush. He's loose, David. Right. I'm out. And that's yeah, the end of David. Early the doors. four of clubs. Oh. Oh. Giving Chris yeah, a nice queen nice. flush. Very bad <laughs> call. David oh, Lloyd yeah. is the first <laughs> player to bow out of the tournament. Carry on, mate. 32 Carry on. hands. No, don't worry. I'll catch a train home. Hello, if I've any money. Well, it was uh, a great start. Win, you know. It was a great start for David. Mm -hmm. and, uh, got one big line. He just got a bit involved. Cheerio, I think, we'll see you later. The middle phase, but uh, see you he enjoyed himself. What a share. In poker terms, I think they call that a duck. David Bumble Lloyd bowled out of the game with that flush on the river. Sometimes poker just hurts. I was a racing certainty to win that. Absolute nailed on to win it. And then another club turns up. And so you're uh, on the train home. Brain down. <laughs> that was close. You were. Pass. Pass. Go. Oh. Pass. No other option. No race. A few kings out here. And the Ace 10 two, will be very well received by Chris Kamara. Stevenson's been known to come out betting. Not a bad bet. spot to bet in. He didn't even flinch this time. There wasn't even a, a hesitation, a moment. Doesn't believe that Stevenson's got the ace. And he's Nine. correct. And now where does Steve-O go? He's going to have another look, see if they've changed. Brakes are on. Screeching to a halt, I would imagine. Well, no, he's just going to throw oh, him away. <laughs> Good hand, then. Okay, well, you've been told by Matt Martin. Check. 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 The director, you can check. Come on, Matt. 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 Come on, you like to see? <laughs> uh, there you are, Cammy. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? He's about to pass the most of those that he had when he was a rugby league player. Steve Oak. Getting lower. <laughs> Looking ugly at the minute as he's getting lower. Oof, yeah. He's dropped down below the thousand mark and he's now 
the lowest uh, table. Is that black card to stop anyone seeing what's under? Yes, mm -hmm. stop uh, you seeing the bottom card. Obviously, if you near the bottom card, there's an edge in I've looked up all 52 of me. If you're playing home games, oh, was it was it rain? not That's bad in cool. investing in one of those, because rain certainly rain the dealing show rain. the bottom <laughs> card, which is a big rain advantage. <laughs> That's cool. That you card is. Memorise the phone book, though, Ian, didn't you? Nice. Buy cool. yourself a dealer button, a bit of black plastic. Having to the pair of fires. This is what call raise. and raise 100. Okay, it's 200 in total. The raise is 100. A minimum raise. Oh, nice. Enough to get rid of Steve's 810. Call. Not Diana's ace nine suited. Thank you. Just a call though from Dive. You yeah, don't want to get too busy with an ace nine. Could be up against a stronger ace. Chris Kamara's got a. Has Chris Kamara called? He's a little bit adventurous. Seven and two. Three clubs ace. and an ace being hit. Well, that's the end of Rod Harrington. Unless he wants to make a play for another club. And he could very well decide to do that, but mm -hmm. he may not get rid of Diana. He's having a think up. Not as confident with one pair as two pair, but still the that smile. Again. The <laughs> smile gives it away to some degree, I feel. I'll um, raise another 100. There's a 100 shot. Is that 200 or what? Oh, better. Pass. Okay. No. Chris, call you Chris did the right thing and calls? Rod Francis' his chances of landing. He's <laughs> flush, Brilliant. I think. Well, yeah. well, Rod's been uh, hitting cards on the turn of the river. He needs to hit a club, although he still wouldn't Four. be sure that he was in front. He's picked up a, check. an inside Hold straight check. draw. Check. All checked. And he's got a check down there from. So he's got a free card, a club or a three. And eight. And, and a little nod of the head. I think Diana thinks that's a turn out. She's checking, she's had enough of this betting. Well, wow. this is a sign of weakness from Diana. She did what he can more to, <laughs> to sort of have in the pot. 300. 300 is a. So if I meet that, mm -hmm. can he raise again? No. No, that's well, not. That's your it. question, and that's your answer. And Rod's going to do 300 in cold blood. Oh, I wonder what you've got. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a game, Di, really. Kind of a game. <laughs> oh, dear. I think you've played before, you know. I haven't. <laughs> Be brave. Oh, Stuart, come on. Well, I think from her questioning line, it's going to be a call. I think it's going to be a call. <laughs> You must have taught your probability at Stockport Sorry. Grammar School, Di. Well, she's induced a bluff. And it's the right way okay, to do so it, really. If I put that in, and then. That's the end of that's the betting, you just show your cards. Yeah. Oh, okay. you can raise, Di. Cool. Okay, let's have a showdown. Okay. Right, cool. Turn them over, please. Rod knows he's big. <coughs> You've probably got pairs. Rod shows a pair of fives. Pair of fives. Ace nine. And Diane <laughs> shows an ace. The ice when you were wondering about calling. Well, I didn't know if you had two pairs. I thought you had. Yeah. Well, good call. Yeah? yeah. Very good, good call. call. Well done. <coughs> okay. Now I'm looking at that your. That was call. the last hand at that level. The new blinds are 70, 150 pounds. And we're going to change our dealer. Well, I think we're going to change our dealer. And we have a new chip leader as well because Di, with that hand, is going to change our dealer. And we have a new chip leader as well because Di, with that hand, has usurped Rod at the top of the board. She's now got nearly. Double her initial £1,000 outlay. Rod down to 1460 Simon's still in profit. And nothing between Chris and Steve O'David, of course, already eliminated. Oh, well, Simon Maysby's got to get busy at some stage, and, and the ace six is the right hand to do it with. Five handed, an ace is a pretty good cool. card. Perhaps a raise would have been. Pass. An option. 80 to call. Mike Stevenson certainly. 80 to call. <laughs> 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 There's, There's a trouble on call. call here with a king <laughs> <three. So>, uh, <laughs> attractive looking card. Now, we haven't seen too much bluff from Simon so far, so the fact that he's decided call. to go in, Anyone. I'm sure that, no that uh, Steve and I will both put him on a hand. Well, obviously, the way to look at it is you, there's a green light for you to go ahead as long as an ace doesn't come on the flop. 
And now perhaps it's time to uh, put the brakes on. Check our bag. He's hit an inside straight draw. But it's not the type of thing to come out betting with, that's for certain. He must respect. Mm. Oh, okay. well. What's that, 100? 150. 150. Go yeah. for it. Um, no-brainer for pass. Diana yeah. there to get rid of those. Another question for Lazenby. Can he talk himself out of this ace? I'm sure he's been observing just how many hands yeah. Steve-O's been playing. He knows that he's the loosest one around the table. Well, the correct, the correct way to play the, sh the hand uh, with <laughs> unlimited money in front of you, so to speak, is to raise to find out where you are. Whether the guy has, has actually got a genuine hand. 300. He's raised, he's raised a minimum raise, table. considering the sparsity of money around the table compared to the blind size. His bets are becoming much more serious, but okay. the weight okay. of decision doesn't seem to have affected yeah, the Thank you. choice of decision. The jack will be a cruel card to come for Lazenby. That's all right. Might make Simon think a little Check. bit Check. of what was Stevenson calling with. Did he have a three? Did he have a did he have a low pair? He's been betting with low pair a lot. Perhaps he may check now. Check. Check it down. Bet checked. Will this induce Steve O to bet queen. on this card? He's now hit his queen. He may be obligated to bet. The three diamonds mm. won't make much difference. They came at the end. I don't think anybody's going to be looking at those as a flush possibility. Oh, no. well, lot. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Hand, See you later, hands guys. on the head. <laughs> oh Big my God. decision for Lazenby. It's moments like this yes. that will shape the destiny for both Lazenby and Stevenson. Now, what does he do? He's got the better hand. Does he read it for being a... A bluff. I think it is a bluff from Steve O. He thinks that the pair of queens are well set, and little does he know that Lazenby sitting with that ace. And he's about oh, to get yeah. a nasty yeah. shot. Okay, if you give me a 50, 50. and I'll take 260 in 20s. Yeah. He's read it well, he's played That's tight. Nice well. It wasn't a big all in. He doesn't like it. He's very unhappy. He thinks he may be behind. Okay, okay on the back side. Tell me all different. We got a pair of aces. Two pair. Just stop pushing. Just a sec. Okay. Two pair. Yeah. Okay, aces have. and threes. Aces and threes. Against queens and threes. Get we lose queens Mike. Steve I thought he'd won that because he oh, thought he'd got two okay. pairs. Well having well seen all the way to queens and threes. Good but yeah. ultimately, it was the fact that he was <laughs> just <laughs> that little bit too loose, perhaps, that's yeah. cost him. Thanks, folks. Once Bye. transferred Bye -bye. for more money than any other rugby league player in history. I don't think he'll be commanding the world's biggest team <laughs> as a poker right, right. Right. I'm glad that I beat Bumbles. For the Yorkshireman to beat a Lancastrian, that is very, very high on the priority list. The only disappointment, really, is the fact that Lazenby is still in there. A rah -rah, a rugby union bloke, has beaten rugby league. Disappointed. Steve-O went for it in this match. Like a bull in a china shop, he charged at the table, but his cash went out of his hands and never came back. Anything can happen in this one. Let's get those cards in the air. Started with six, we're down to four. I bet you would have done that big Sorry, Simon, Simon Dye, Dye, Chris or Rod will be the winner of the six grand and the prestige. Who's it gonna be? It's difficult to call, isn't it? It is Jim? difficult to call, and we've changed our mind a couple of times about who the heads up is gonna be between. We did fancy that uh, it could well be Rod and <coughs> A and other, but I'm not so sure now with Rod short stacked Pass. out of the four that are left. Pass. Eight Chris to learning very quickly on the job as well um, has impressed over the last hour or so. Now, die and with a hand, ace nine suited. It's got cold again. Mm. No. No ace. I think Simon Lays Laysby has the best feel around the table, along perhaps with Rod as to what's where he stands within a hand. 
and obviously Chris Kamara as a newcomer to the game, fast learning, and Dyer to some degree as well, are the X factors in the equation. Ten, three, but it's getting to the six. stage where the blinds Check are so it. big that it's who gets the cards now. Check. Check. A pair of sixes for Simon, and that's enough to tempt him. Well, he's been checked and he's got second pair. He must feel as if he's in front. 400. He's certainly going to find 400. out now. Um, has. No hesitation. Didn't have to think about it. No, nope. she's a pretty honest Sorry. player. Don't keep all your money in one box. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I know I did. I know. Six as well. 70s, oh, mate. Good. She may be the most easy to read around the table. <laughs> Which is not always the case uh, with newcomers to the game. Not every player uh, is very easy to read. Obviously, Helen Hi. Chamberlain was uh, <coughs> called m much confusion uh, in the Poker Million finals. And um, a few of the players around the cool. table, I think, uh, have already Eight gone. Cool. Not easy to read. Not easy to read, Steve-o. Never knew where you stood with him. It's a, an attractive-looking hand. It is. We could see some action here because cool. Dye's got Ace Nine suited. No race. And with uh, the suited connectors, Queen and Jack for sign, and that is a good hand awesome. when you've only got four left around the table. There's something for everybody. And what's the flop going to Two, produce? Four, five. Something for Chris Kamara. <laughs> How ironic's that? And he's now got he's got top pair, open-ended straight draw. Absolutely. Check. An ace or a six. It's good for Chris. In fact, an ace would be delightful because Dyer would think that she was in with a good chance as well. An upsetting card, should uh, should this be called. I don't think it will be called by Dyer. would be a three for Chris McCamara. would give Dyer the straight. And Chris Kamara two pair, but I think Dyer's worked it out. Although she's got, she's got a flush draw. She's not getting the right odds to chase the flush draw. And such is the amount of money she's going to have to put in of her pass stack. Pass. Quite rightly refuses it. Well, Chris's recovery has been of biblical proportions, really. The new cash leader. And when you consider that, as you saw, he was down to 140 quid at one stage. He was in no shape even with 140 quid with the cards and got a little bit lucky. And now, all of a sudden, he's nearly up to two grand. Might make his trains do that. People called me a hard man in my playing days, uh, so I hope um, to have a little bit of steelness about me when I need it. Hopefully, you will see someone out there who is very shrewd, knows when to gamble, knows when to fold, and knows how to win. Rod Harrington oh, really God. under pressure now with only 650 and he's in a small blind. He's only going to have a couple more goes before it's his turn again. So he really needs a good hand in the next four hands. Another attractive awesome. looking king with a very unattractive two. Kamara's not even flinching now. Cool. Straight in. Pass. He's had some ammunition though, to be fair no to Chris, and not only is this switch flipped in his head, which has changed his style of play, but he's, he's also had the cards with which to work. That's not doing him down in any way. Diana Stewart hasn't got Next. much, although she Six. has hit. Apologies, yes, yeah, she has hit uh, bottom pair. Now she's going to play it. Frightening ace and king on board though, isn't it? No doubt now that whatever Dai does here, Chris Jack. is going to come in with a big race. Represents the king of the ace. The of beauty. And Dai won't get involved, I don't think. Talk, talk us through. Try not to smile like that. <laughs> I'm so going to break you. <laughs> smile. <laughs> You've had really good cards recently. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Oh, she's gonna call it. She's had enough. Cool. She's had enough. She's had enough. Now, this is the situation we were pre entering, Chris. Perfect time to add enough as well because she was running a little bit lower than she had been for most of the game. Ace. 
the ace doesn't change a thing and Three shouldn't hundred. do it in her mind. She's either behind or she's had enough. Still one or the other. Obviously, it's another diamond. Three diamonds. Well, it's at that stage of the game where it's perhaps not the right thing to worry about that too much. Now, it's on you first to act. He's, he's you acted. Check if you want. Chris I may be making it. Yeah. Chris that may be making a mistake by the 300 stays now. Betting. Chris bet yeah. out a turn there. So you've got a note of three stays. So I might have got to yeah. pay 300 pounds. So effectively, Dinah's checked. Chris has bet. Huh? It's back, it's back on you now. Yeah. Well, she yeah. called the first bet, called the second bet. If he had an ace, he would have gone in with more than 300. That's got to be her thinking. I think she, she's run away. Uh, Running away with it. An cool. unfortunate Truth. waste of money. Lazarus. Come on, the Oh, I hope you had a king. <laughs> oh, I getting anything out of him now, though. Up. No. This is it. He's learnt very quickly. I was going to say. Oh, oh quick. Yeah. And two kids just two. stupid. Two. Well, no, it wasn't <laughs> stupid other than not following it through in some respects. Getting a bit short here, Dice. I, I don't know. think we'll make a good, good par between us, would we? Chris Kamara has just got enough money now to start bullying the table properly. And he's, he's certainly become groaning confident because he's got that wad in front of him. Pass, pass. And the rest have now become Andrew. kittens around the table. And possibly the only person with any gameplay left in him is our second Wad leader, Simon Lazenby. No, check. No race. Is it an ace, but has not raised with it. And four-handed. That's not a particularly strong play either. Well, he's got ace. the ace as well, and this Ten could seven. come to his benefit. We know Kamara's going for it now. He might as well check. It's the right, perhaps the right thing to do now. Check. Chris has developed the love for this 300 pound. Don't bet, check. Raise. You know, for Williams going to bet. Now what does Chris Kamara do? He can get away from it. 500. 500. A bit obvious. I'd say that's anything about it. It's a bit obvious. 500 bet. The consummate player. Pass. Never a mistake. Lost opportunity for Simon then. Well, I feel so. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't think it takes a brain surgeon. It doesn't need us two to sit around here telling everybody at home that, uh, that, that Chris was going to come out betting there. So, what the hell? Now it all changes. We were talking about Rod Harrington looking like the dominant force around the table with a bit of experience under his belt. Coming up on the rails, Kamara. Unbelievable. I don't think Rod's won a hand for an hour. <coughs> he hasn't had any good cards. He really has struggled with the cards, and uh, he's, he's frittered, frittered away a few chips trying to the, um, stay positive. Online. It's just not worked for him. <laughs> Wouldn't say a bad play so much as it does help if you get some cards, and uh, most of the other players around the table have had more than him. Trying awesome. to make the best of a bad job. It would awesome. be nice for him now if he got something decent. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong I'm hand, though. Check. No race. Hearts would be nice for Rod Harrington at this moment. Well, he's going to get he's going to get check some interest ten, now. Six. Now he should check. He might as well check. Although it's Kamara to bet first, so three hundred bet. There's the mandatory three hundred. Rod's very quick out with his money. And he's only got just over that. And fifty for all in. All in. So Rod all in, I think that's for the first time. Chris obviously will uh, put in the extra 50 pounds. Now Rod with his pair of jacks on top. But Chris has chances. shows a pair of jacks. Not least the queen. Chris needs an ace, a king or a queen. Could be goodbye Rod Harrington. There it is. And there's the queen. Oh, Good pull. Sorry, Rod. Right. And that is that. Mm. Rod Harrington oh, leaves us the, no, okay. the most experience well, coming into the right. tournament. Right. And yet he's third out of the six. Right. Just right. did right. not have the cards <laughs> or the luck. Gosh. And Chris's right. bravado has seen him off. Rod, third to go. It. So the end of Rod Harrington, who was fourth to 
try and chase the game and get himself back into position. That queen of clubs coming down. And that coming had the straight ace king, queen, jack 10. Night night for Rod Harrington. The trouble is with Chris, if he's bluffing a lot, that will turn around and kick him. If he's going to think he can bluff every end, you can never do that. Um, Diane is just sitting there and going on hands. You know if Diane goes, she's got a good hand because she is not going to go on anything else. And Simon's a little bit the same. He has bluffed on the odd occasion, I think. But uh, it's hard to call because there are three players that uh, are different, different styles. Mm. OK, one big blind. And then there were three. Or two and a little bit because Diana is very much on the brink. She wanted to be known as Devious Die, incidentally, as a poker nickname. That's a nice, that's a nice nickname. I think she'd be more heart on your sleeve, Die. Five hundred. Total raises three hundred. All these Devious poker players. So nice to see somebody prepared to be honest for a change. Not like this man. You can't get more Devious as he comes. When he started off this game, honestly, okay, he's pass. become and pass. full of gameplay. Yeah, less than Candy Kamara. Never going to believe him again when he's talking through the action. Four hundred, Diane. Button Morning. stays where it is. Four hundred and Simon's two hundred. Great. So there's not much left in the pot now for Diana. That's half her stack going in on this big blind. Okay. Say a little prayer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm praying with you. Double, double, double. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. <laughs> been known to happen, but it's unlikely. Well, Chris will tell you, just what it feels like to come back from the dead. The good scenario for Dana like Dana would be to get both other players to put their money in, It'd be three-handed, 400 chips. Call and it's all in. Go on then, Di. Okay. What was that? How much? Oh, it's no, just a call, it's right, okay. okay. Flip it. Turn front. them over. Simon shows 10 eight. Good luck, Di. Five cards. Simon shows. Back in. King seven, Diane's leading. Well done. Come on. <sighs> Marginally more than 50% chance before the flop. The Four. She's got a pair Diane. of sevens. <laughs> Simon, though, has a pair of eights. So it's Simon that's ahead here, and it's not looking good for Di. Seven or a king Come for Diana. King. You need a king, don't you, Di? One of the seven. Yeah, I think it's two. One more chance for Miss Stewart. Come on, die. <laughs> I'm willing you. <laughs> Bless you, thank you. No, you're not Simon, you're lying. And the ace oh, eliminates oh, Dice Stewart, who oh, fought bravely but no. ultimately really perhaps well. not quite devious enough. Thank you enough. very much for having me. Don't <laughs> 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 be silly. I'll just collect Please, my belongings. Just two hands and after the rod that she has come with. We've got the action. She's not going to be that long. Though. Yes, she has. She's oh, just yeah. Yeah. a little bit of inexperience of trying to work out what's going on on a couple of occasions. Yeah, but if I'm going, I'll let everything and that's honesty. No worries. OK. Even thanks very much for having me. I'll ask you about this point. How about that? Sometimes you're just going to be so frustrated. What were you down? I was all in. So this is how it happened. I was forced with only £400 to play anything that she had. King 7 could have been a lot worse than that, but the fact that the 8 came down on the flop meant that it was going to be Simon's hand. Nothing else helped Di. She looked for a king or a 7, and Di is the fourth to leave us. I feel slightly destroyed, though, because... I don't know, I felt, I felt like I was building towards something, and then Cammy just... He had me, pretty much, on every hand. And I couldn't quite work out if he was bluffing or if he had very good cards. There were a couple of blonde moments, I admit, a couple of naive learning moments, but um, as I say, I'm, I'm just keen to get back, back onto the table. Not onto the table, literally. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> It's Chris Kamara against Simon Lazenby, the faces of football and rugby head-to-head. £6,000 on the table, all in crisp 50s, and one of them will pocket the lot.
won promotion in his time as a professional footballer and has won many admirers since. But can he win £6,000 cold, hard cash from that man, the youngster? That's the thing. Face assassin Simon Lazenby, who's hoping that today will be his day. Not too much between the pair of them either as they go into the heads up. £3,300 for Chris. It's a lead of 600 quid. See his bet frequency much the higher. Simon has been the tightest of the players around the table. Chris at one stage down to 140 quid on his last knockings and somehow goes into the head to head in the lead. A quick one. There'll be a lot of testosterone flying around in here, won't there? Yeah, we'll finish him off. Yeah. I like the rhythm between you two. Quite clever, isn't it? Is he? You know? Sort of. To say hello to, yeah. yeah. I've met him at uh, Fulham a few times. King, two handed, worth a raise. Yes, that's better play. 500. 500 in total. A little bit of scare of Chris Kamara, though, is oh. another matter because uh, Chris hasn't been frightened of calling with what would potentially be the worst yeah. hand going into the flop. One of the worst cards to be calling with, okay. in some respects. Yeah. yeah. Good chance that they would be live cards. They're connected to some degree. <clears throat> and of course, they're suited. Which is always a little prettier. That's yours. You put it too much. I put too much. So who'll be able to strike first? On the heads up. Chris has actually got 300 more than he started queen, in the heads queen. up. Pair of queens. And Chris has got the nine, the middle pin that he wanted now. Uh, Jack would be a wonderful result for Chris. What's, uh, my options, what's the minimum bet? Minimum bet is 200. 200. Is he just limping with 300? No, he's turning in with his 300, which is almost de rigueur. Chris Kamara now. What does Simon do here? Well, he can't really do much at all. It's, the pot's already at 1,300. He hasn't hit anything. He raised. His opponent's come out betting. Unless he feels he's on a pure bluff, he's got to lay it down. And even an ace as a pure bluff is, is beating him, So, or a better king. So it's good night, nurse, and more money to Chris Kamara. That'd be the right thing to do, even though every eight hands from this position, Simon would expect to win five. Well, we know that, obviously, having the benefit of what Chris has got. And Simon in the strong position. Pass. But he does throw it away. And that's, that's the, end the of right thing level. to do. And the, the blinds will, be will go up again. 50, 300. And we're going to change our deal back. 300 for the big blind. And Chris, from having a 600 <laughs> quid lead, when they went heads queen. up, all of a sudden now has a <laughs> £2,200 <laughs> He's looking very well set. <laughs> must be, he must be sitting there to some degree frustrated, wondering how on earth he's going to try to get back in the game. And, and that does happen at this game. You need great patience when things seem to be going against you. It's not a time for panic, even though the blinds are getting pretty big. You only need one good double up and he's back in front. But sometimes you sort of, you can't see that. That's a nice looking ace. This is the type of hand where instead of raising, perhaps you do decide to go in and take a chance. But it's a bit desperate if the other guy's got a better one, obviously. But again, you're in trouble to some degree anyway. Blinds are 300, he's got 1600 in front of him. How much does he raise? Raise. Is that a minimum raise to 600? Christmas Kamara really shouldn't be getting 400 involved. More, seven total. With these two cards, they're much worse looking than the 810, but Four to call. he just doesn't really seem to know fear. Call. I suppose when you play much football, it doesn't really matter, does it? Most people game. tended to fear him more than so where, yes, I was aware. the other way round. King, Jack, King. Well, as so often happens, nobody hits the flop, and it will be a case of who's Wait bravest. And there he goes, betting again. Four hundred. Now this is more of an interesting hand for Lazenby. 
400. It's a 400 bet into a pot of 1,400, I believe. And the question mark he's got to ask is, is my ace winning? Can all turn around so quickly, of course, on heads up. Can Lazen be, be brazen? We know that uh, Chris Kamara has been nicking money left, right and centre recently, but of course that's not the case for the players out there and Simon Lazenby doesn't know how much he's been thieving. The way to look through this is a uh, very simple equation. Has he got a jack or a king? Possibly a pair. Would he bet with a king? Perhaps not. Perhaps he check. Does he play that way? Has he been checking big hands? I don't think he has. Can my ace be winning? Well, Simon, if you make the wrong decision on this hand, you will probably not win the six grand. If you can get this right, you're still in with a shout. Pass. Doesn't like it, but he had to do it. He's frustrated. Look at the body language of the two. <coughs> Calm and demure. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> 900 pound away mm. from winning the pot. It's whittled well, away, he, doesn't it? He's put in steady pressure on his opponents in the last hour or so. Uh, picking them off one at a time by putting in not massive bets, but just enough to put the frighteners on. And he's not been swayed off anything from a raise, which is always helpful if you can hit a few cards on the flop or cool. carry on betting after you've not hit your flop. Simon's getting disinterested with what no, he's getting. He wants to see big cards. He's not getting them. You get the feeling it doesn't matter what comes on the flop. Chris Kamara is going to bet it. Oh, look. It's How's that for a tell? It's a nightmare. Seven, nine, well, Once eight. again, nobody hits a flop. It's Simon Lazenby to bet first. The trouble is, these cards don't look as attractive to bet with. How can you bet with that pile of mints? He's got to check. He can't talk himself into a bet. He can't, he can't visualise a bet at the moment. He's not in the right frame of mind. Or can he? The longer he thinks, the less probable it is. Check. Oh, I'll check. And he threw him away and... 500. Didn't check 500. It's, all over. it's got all. Not happy. Down six hundred pounds. Ten percent of the total stack. Chris probably one or two hands away from winning it now, unless. But <laughs> I'm on the rack. How frustrating as it's been. Stupid. Come on, lads, don't be shy. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not like you know he's done anything <laughs> wrong. This is not a criticism. He's just been a little bit sort of outplayed by what you can say is just aggression. Perhaps the ace three, perhaps he could have gone in bigger pre-flop. Won the pot there and then. I'm all in. All in. Now he's having to go all in with jack six, which is a frustration as well. Chris Kamara may as well call him. And you get the feeling that if you had to reward somebody for good play, you'd have to reward Chris Kamara for being the bravest when it mattered. Absolutely. I think the right man's going to win the tournament oh. if the best Chris part. goes on to win it. But the luck that Chris has had as well, probably hit a nine or a seven six. on this flop. And Chris shows seven nine. What a glamour hand to finish on. Yeah. <laughs> Simon ahead. Well, you might not I've be waited finishing. Waited all day for these two cards. Yeah. Well, you're in front as we speak, not by much. And you're still in front. Three queen eight. As you know, I've helped to anybody. All spades. Don't worry about the spades. There's no spades in either Chris or Simon's hands. Queen. That's OK. Simon, one card away from doubling up. Seven or a nine kills him. <laughs> Simon wins. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, and there is the Chris seven. Wins. And that Take is that. Well Back from the dead. Chris oh, Kamara down to £140 pounds at one stage, oh, thank you. making the most astonishing go, well comeback. Done, a real poker novice. <laughs> <laughs> only six grand better well off. Done. Not only did he have that little bit of luck, he deserved it as well. He bought his luck round the table the way he played.
What an amazing game. At one stage, Chris Kamara had just 150 pounds in his hands and looked like he'd be the first man out. But what a comeback, what a pro, and what a nice little earner for Cammy. Let's hear from him and the runner-up, Simon Lazenby. I have to say, I'm absolutely gutted. I, I did what I hoped. I got to the final two, and then uh, I showed complete weakness. I was um, never had the balls to come back over the top, and in the end, it, it did for me, really. And um, good luck to Chris. He was, uh, he was brilliant. He came back from the dead, but uh, I should have buried him earlier on. I'm just delighted to have won it, basically, and it's, it's, it really is a, a tremendous feeling, and I shall be playing poker quite a lot from now on, that's for sure. Chris Kamara, the Sports Stars TV champion, is a new poker star born. Either way, he'll milk this for all it's worth. Next time the challenge is on for real, a group of rugby lads scrum up on the poker table with the winner pocketing six grand and a spot in our grand final. Congratulations, Chris Kamara. You'll make a poker player yet.